today's episode of Character Profiles, we're going to be looking at two creatures in the Looney Tunes family who've been chasing each other for years. The Carnivorous Vulgarius and the Acerophorus Incredibilis, otherwise known as Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner. They first appeared together in a 1949 short film, Fast and the Furious. After first attempting to catch the Roadrunner by practical means, by using his own two feet, he decided to use the stupid route and order from a not proven reliable company. Every single day, the Coyote would go through any means necessary to catch the beeping Roadrunner. Fortunately, it always ends badly for them, including one of my favorite gags that would only be possible in the magical world of cartoons. Like the Coyote, the Roadrunner is mostly silent save for one famous sound clip, used again and again and again. Running through Arizona's vast Grand Canyon, the Roadrunner only eats bird seed, and he will frighten any prey simply by honking his famous beep. While the setup for all the Roadrunner cartoons is the same, each one has a new twist or turn, which is how it keeps its freshness. Yet looking at the relationship between these two characters, it reaches a point where I start to feel sorry for Wiley. All he wants to do is have a snack. But the Roadrunner keeps on besting him simply because of shoddy equipment. After a while, I just want him to catch the bird. Especially in this world where apparently Roadrunner is the only edible food. That is true. Lizards and snakes, ugh. But Roadrunner? It's delicious. I think I might order one now, actually. However, the Coyote has done more than just chase the Roadrunner around. Like many of the Looney Tunes crew, he became a mentor for the new generation of cartoon stars when he became the dean of Acme University on Steven Spielberg's Tiny Toon Adventures. You might find it odd that he's the head of the school, but considering he's Mr. Spielberg's favorite Looney Tune, the promotion isn't surprising. It's also revealed that the reason he continually uses Acme products is he actually works for Acme as shown in Looney Tunes, back in action. While he has been silent through most of his appearances, Wally e. Coyote did receive a prominent speaking role in one of the most memorable Warner Brothers shorts, 1952's Operation Rabbit. Voiced in a refined accent by Mel Blanc, Wally e. tries to catch Bugs Bunny, but once again failing at every turn. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mud. <laughs> and remember, Mud spelled backwards is dumb. And now for my fan work of choice. This is a homemade animated short that actually looks quite professional. A parody of Terminator 2, this presents a unique and funny take on the traditional Coyote Roadrunner formula. Here's a little snippet from it. Beep, beep. has been chasing the Roadrunner for years, and the question remains, will he ever catch it? Well, there is a 1 million viewed YouTube video that shows just that, though Wiley remains perplexed all the same. Thank you for watching today's episode of Character Profiles, and until next time, that's all folks!